Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another third stimulus check unemployment benefits extension update and happy Friday or happy weekend or happy week depending on when you're watching it. So we have actually really, really breaking news and big changes that recently did just happen to the stimulus package, which literally happened yesterday, very, very late at evening, um, right around the evening time, probably the typical time most of us were probably eating dinner. Um, now the great news is, is that the change is not that they're not gonna be voting. The great news is that they are still very very much voting on the stimulus package today it is however breaking news because it is potentially going to impact how the next several days are going to play out now technically this news is is actually can actually be really really great news for some people but also lesser good news for other people it kind of just depends on what demographic you you know fall into but it also does kind of have a little bit of a relationship with unemployment it's going to make a lot more sense we're going to cover all of that about what the changes are how that's going to impact everything that's been going on including stimulus checks unemployment and everything so we're going to get started but before we begin make sure you smash the like button because there are still a lot of great news that have been happening after all um consider subscribing hitting the bell notification button for future updates on stimulus unemployment and other finance topics. I'll also put videos at the very, very end that talk about other parts of the stimulus if you guys haven't checked that out. We cover lots of things about unemployment, when to reapply, how to call, um, the different programs, really just trying to break it down. So subscribe if you guys are interested in any of that and feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about honestly just really anything at all. It's always great to see familiar faces and new faces. So with that being said, let's get started. So the great news still very, very much stands that they are still very much going to be voting on the stimulus package, probably either today if they don't get to it tomorrow. But basically the idea is by the very end of this week and everything right now at this time is on track to be approved inside of the house. The big change, however, that recently did just happen is has actually to do with the minimum wage. However, it does actually impact a lot of the other parts, which we are going to explain in a little bit. Um, but the basic idea is that it was recently just announced yesterday that it basically turns out is that what they're trying to do with the minimum wage actually is something that they may not actually even be allowed to do that and it kind of goes on to if you if you guys remember in a couple of the videos I talked about in the past about how when it comes to trying to approve the third stimulus package with the unemployment um, there are technically many different committees and groups that have to really go through the approval in order to approve it um, basically the idea is think a little bit like every single single part of the program, there's a certain group that's actually in charge of that part. So they have to actually run through it before they can actually physically approve the entire package together. Maybe an example of this would be, say, for example, if they, you know, want to do something with like pandemic testing, they can technically just write it physically in the bill, but they also have to go through a lot of other groups, such as like the FDA, the country's health department, if they're actually even physically allowed to do such a thing. Um, if it has to do with education, so for example, funding for schools, they probably will have to run through things like the college board, the board of education, the education board within different states and cities to see if they can actually physically do a particular something. So the idea is, is that they have to run through different committees um, in order to get it approved the news right now is is that it turns out at the very very end that the senate parliamentarians so basically they are the group of people that are in charge of everything related to the budget and even more true about what actually is physically allowed to happen inside when it comes to the budget reconciliation um one of the officials in there Hopefully I pronounced her name correctly, but Elizabeth McDonough, she's a much more subtle, low-key figure in the world of, you know, Congress politics and the Senate. But basically, she has actually recently just come out that she decided or has made the decision that according to her is, is that the recent stimulus package, but specifically the minimum wage part of it, um unfortunately, sadly, does not meet the guidelines in order to be approved through budget reconciliation. Because the idea is that even though they can go through budget reconciliation, which thankfully it exists, so they can, you know, hopefully approve it, um, there are actually still terms and rules to actually being able to use budget reconciliation to what they're physically even allowed to do. Basically, the idea is it's exactly like with anything that people typically do in real life um, that involves a contract. This could be something as simple as just making an account on Twitter and that's actually what happened to Donald Trump actually you know but yeah, even though it sounds really really funny but even for some of the most simple things like making an account on Twitter you know when you 
sign a contract when you commit to a certain something even when you you know sign a contract to work at a certain location um there are terms that a lot of people have to go through even though they may sound silly sometimes like you know terms on social media websites or just making an account the long story short is is that the senate parliamentarian believes that raising the minimum wage is actually not allowed and is actually a violation so in other words um they believe that it's against the law now, maybe the slightly better and brighter news is, um, is that Joe Manchin did recently come out and it turns out that he actually now is in support of the minimum wage, but only to $11 per hour. So he doesn't act, he still to this day doesn't support the $15 per hour. However, at this point in time, it might not even be a question if they're not even physically allowed to by law. Um, include it inside of the next third stimulus package. Now, the great news is, is that, as mentioned, is that they are still very, very much going to be voting on the stimulus package inside of the House, hoping for approval. I think the plan of where they're trying to go from here is, is that they're really hoping to try to maybe approve it in the House and then bring it into the Senate and then maybe strip it once it actually goes into the Senate and then try to vote inside of the Senate um, this exact package, but just simply without the minimum wage. I I believe that if they end up doing that, there is a chance it may have to basically come back to the House. You can even think of it a little bit like a reverse approval. So instead of going from the House to the Senate, it's going to go from the House to the Senate and then back to the House. So it's kind of, you know, like a reverse um, version of that. And then I believe the response that the Democrats are really trying to do right now is, is that they're really actually trying to still fight for the minimum wage, interestingly. But what they're hoping to now do is, is that they're trying to create some kind of loophole to maybe include the minimum wage, if not necessarily in this bill, maybe in another way. And there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of play with the law. And we've seen this probably just in American history or just simply history in general is that there's a lot of ways um, especially if you're you know like a big power like Congress and you have millions and millions of dollars going on and to be able to hire lawyers there's a lot of ways to kind of sometimes try to create a loophole in order to kind of get around this I think right now is that the, the Democrats are trying to plot out some kind of loophole to maybe still get the minimum wage done if not in this bill maybe in another future bill but it's going to be interesting we're probably going to have to wait a couple of days to see maybe how they end up responding to that maybe consider subscribing if you guys are interested and haven't done so um, in order to get updates when we hopefully hear more information about what they end up actually physically doing because right now they're kind of just brainstorming ideas of what they can do at this time and because as mentioned is that it does actually relate a lot to the unemployment um i actually recently did actually just interestingly made a poll on my um main page my channel page so in the communities tab feel free to maybe vote if you guys are interested basically it's a poll to kind of ask every single person about whether or not you guys think the minimum wage should be raised or should maybe just be left out completely and that they should kind of move on without it maybe feel free to comment if you guys have any thoughts because it actually relates a lot to the unemployment because the reason is that because if they include the minimum wage the great obvious great news is is that if you are a lower wage worker it's going to give you guys more money but they're actually it's not actually a very easy black and white answer because if they do end up raising the minimum wage it also does mean that a lot of small businesses are more likely to have to struggle especially in this economy economy they may actually end up actually hiring less jobs so in other words what that means is is that there may actually physically be less jobs out there which means that the unemployment rates can potentially still stay as high as basically what they are right now that may actually lead to an even harder time to recover the idea is basically is that people that are hired are more likely to get a higher salary if they're you know a minimum wage worker because if they're making like 60k it probably doesn't matter however it also does mean is is that there's going to be physically less jobs so the unemployment rate is probably going to be higher and so it really kind of goes both ways it's kind of like the argument you know sometimes you have to kind of decide between either no job or a job but that's very you know low paying especially when the pandemic hit you know that was a very very big thing you know a lot of people had to ask themselves if it was worth it to even go to work sometimes even not because of finances but even for health-based reasons if it was worth it to continue working if they had the choice given what was going on with the pandemic and because if it doesn't solve the unemployment problem then there is a chance that it can actually potentially lead to an even longer greater long-term situation maybe we might even see a fourth stimulus package so again 
it goes back to that, it's that it's not really a clear black white answer. It kind of really does go both ways depending on how how you or the person looks at it. But the bright news is, is that now that if they do end up stripping the minimum wage, it does however mean that probably the biggest controversial thing that they're currently debating on, they can maybe finally overlook it. That actually means that it might actually have an even easier time now to actually be approved inside of both the Senate and in, and the House and basically the entire Congress. So the less good news is that basically if you are someone that wants to raise the minimum wage, it's probably going to be taken out. Now it could still be included, but maybe just in another way. The brighter news is that if you are someone that doesn't care about the minimum wage, um, but again, keep in mind it does impact unemployment as kind of as kind of how we just recently mentioned. Um, but if, you know, let's say if you're someone that doesn't care about the minimum wage, then this is actually technically really great news because it does mean is that it means that it's actually going to be easier to approve the third stimulus package. So it really does kind of goes both ways as mentioned. But that's what I really wanted to share in today's update. So hopefully you guys found some insight because it is relatively breaking that can potentially change how the next couple of days play out. Feel free to comment if you guys had any kind of thoughts, questions about honestly really thing at all. Um, remember to smash the like button if you guys haven't done so already. Um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. Um, and have a great weekend or start to the new week. Just really depends on when you're watching this. So thank you guys again.